Hello, my name is Kanji Momoto, and I will be giving my TED Talk in English. So, people often tell me, traveling abroad, experiencing, dancing with Jamaicans, eating ethnic Chinese food, this will all teach you diversity. Sounds a bit too radical, but yes, I have to admit that traveling and going to far places will teach you what diversity is and open new doors. However, I have one more thing to say. That diversity can be reached by, uh, in the status quo. You can feel it in the presence of the, of the status quo. Today, I would like to use this opportunity to inform and convince you all that diversity is, necess uh, is essential to the part of our lives. Uh, diversity is something not irrelevant. It is not something distant. We can feel it everywhere. Now, some of you may be wondering, what the heck is diversity? Well, according to my computer, diversity is something, uh, it's a range of different things or aspects. We can feel it everywhere. And it is necessary for our lives. So, there are different aspects of diversity, such as behavioral diversity, historical diversity, and natural diversity. The list keeps going on and on. And then, there's human diversity. As we all know, people tend to stop thinking when they see something controversial or difficult to take in. Well, great news. Diversity is just that. Being a young student myself, uh, I believe that in Japan society, diversity is not that present. It is not a universal aspect of our lives. At least in my own community, I feel. So, but however, I did some research and found out as Japan is becoming more global, we see the term taiyose, which is literally the Japanese translation of the term diversity in newspapers and on TV. People are starting to recognize this idea, but are not quite sure how to experience it. They know it's there, but just can't grasp it in their hands, like the cookie on the jar. So, well, being a young student myself, uh, I, am, I cannot speak on behalf of the whole world, but I can tell you one thing. Diversity is everywhere. On the metro, in schools, even in your house. We see diversity every day. There is no reason to go abroad to meet Americans or Europeans to get a general idea of what diversity is. Diversity as we know it exists everywhere. <coughs> so, I would like to talk about myself. I used to live in the suburban area of Houston, Texas, where I belonged to the Cub Scouts. While participating and actively uh, doing my job as a Cub Scout leader, I was, uh, I, recall, I can recall one day, I can recall a situation Perfectly. I still remember to this day the time a homeless man asked me for some change. Yes, a homeless man asked me for some change. And, uh, well, it was a hot, humid day, a typical Texan day. I was out with my friends, handing out can of, cans of uh, food and water on the street. And, well, the neighborhood next to mine was not a very appealing place. The place was littered. There were people on the street begging for food. There were people who were out of jobs, looking for jobs, tired of job hunting. And so it was that time when a man who I had given him a bottle of water to looked down on me and slowly said, can I have something for my dog? Yes, he said, can I have something for my dog? Now, I was around eight years old at the time, and frankly, I was terrified. But at the same time, I was very mystified. Until that moment, I'd only met with people who cared only about themselves. All they needed was something to feed, something to fill their stomachs with. But this man, but this man in front of me, was looking for something to give to his dog, not for himself. Eventually, I would hand him the money I had in my pocket, which was less than a dollar, enough to get myself a Snickers bar, and thought this would good, do him good. And eventually, he. Uh, said thank you to me, and I was very happy. 
So, next. Uh, a few years later, I found myself once again volunteering in Tokyo. This time, I was mingling and uh, teaching elementary students at a facility called Kodomo Kyoshitsu Erubu in Komae. Uh, there, uh, the, the people there, the children there, the elementary school students there, did not have enough money to go to a private school and afford tuition. And so, was in one day, it was in the middle of August, uh, I was, uh, a, a boy who I would call Hiro asked me to play Yu-Gi-Oh with him. And so, according to the manual I was given to by the employer, I was to act accordingly so that the children would not get upset. And it was the first time in two weeks that Hiro talked to me and said he wanted to play with me. And so I did. While we were engaged in an intense Yu-Gi-Oh battle, uh, Hiro suddenly stopped his hands and looked up at me. I was not ready for what's to come. He started talking about his daily life, his school life, about his parents, his family, and I was not ready. I was not ready. The first thing he said to me was that he was bullied and made fun of at his public school. And because of the autism, he was made fun of by even his teachers. His mother, his mother, who was divorced, worked at a part-time job where she was paid too little, who came home so late that Hiro was already asleep by the time she got there. And according to Hiro, Hiro's mom would scream at him and yell at him, and he would get hurt inside. After hearing all of this, I asked him, why, why are you telling me all of this? And he simply and wryly replied, because you're one of the few friends I have. And uh, later, I learned that Hiro didn't have a place where he could call home. And in fact, many of the other students there were just like him. After everything, after going through everything, I uh, drew up a con conclusion that, that diversity is not just about ethnicity, culture, or other backgrounds. It's also about individual beings, ideas, experiences, and community. It is vital that we all acknowledge that diversity is present in the status quo. There is someone out there, the people we meet every day, he has, is a person who has a voice, who has an opinion, who has an idea. We simply cannot ignore these voices, and we simply cannot underestimate or be intolerant of the fact or situation in front of us. So what are you waiting for? Let us be courageous enough to take risks and open that door of opportunity in front of us. Let us experience diversity in a dynamic and yet subtle manner. Thank you very much.